Hello my friends! Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya Side Gate Crafts. You guys, you want to watch me get frustrated today or not? <laughs> I've got these flamingos. This flamingo. And I want to put it together for a memdex for a project. For a swap that I'm doing. And I thought, um, let's piece this guy together. I have not done this one yet before. So I've been sitting here trying to figure out where the pieces go. And I think I've got a handle on it. Apologize. I've got some of my oxides out and I thought it might be fun to go ahead and use these to color them. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now I've got a picture here. This is what he's supposed to look like. Did you guys see Cash? I had a picture of Cash in there. Hang on. There's Cash. There's the one that you hear all the time. That's the kitty with the attitude. <laughs> my three-legged kitty. And then I have a picture of her brother. This is Ammo, my other kitty that you never hear because he's so quiet. He's very special. So anyways, um, this is the flamingo. And that's how he's supposed to turn out. And let's see what we can do. Now, it looks like to me I might have not cut or gathered a couple pieces over on the... Um, machine over there, but we're going to try to get this at least sort of taken care of. So I'm thinking it might be fun to just kind of brush these and I don't know how this is going to turn out, to be honest, but we're going to, we're going to give it a go because I don't have all the color papers to make him. And I thought this might be a fun way to do it. If you don't have all the papers, this could be a great way maybe, to get the colors you want and to get variations in your color. I say maybe. I know it would be. Let's just see how it works out for me today. <laughs> and if it doesn't work out for me, maybe it will work out better for you. Maybe it won't. I don't know. You can always try it, right? But that way we don't have to have all the colors. Okay, so there's that. There's the base. It looks like they use the lighter color on the base. I'm just copying... And then we're going to use the lighter color on this one, even though it's darker, because I just brushed it darker, but that's okay. And then they used a much brighter pink on this part, so we're going to do the same. Oh, they left some white on that tail. That's okay, though. They used a much brighter pink here. Let's just go for it. Now, of course, the beak is yellow, so we'll add those colors there. Stay up there, picture. My phone just wants to cut off because I'm not using it. And let's see. Let's see how that looks so far. So that's going to go there. I do know that these are the first two layers. Let's see if there's enough difference in there. Oops, I poked that up. Can you guys see that? glue those on there what am I gonna get I like it I like it um, that's lighter at least but we can use a pen if we wanted to lighten that up even more um, there's some variation up here I kind of like it I think I want to make his chest I'm gonna go in with on his chest just a little bit darker right in here if I add a little more ink that really really dark all right now I haven't used my glue in a couple days let's see if it'll it'll behave I hope you guys are doing great uh, thanks for your patience and hanging out with me I had a couple days I was feeling a bit under whether it's uh, had a stomach bug or something and and then just uh, you know stress of life and just a few things happening. I just couldn't get back. So I appreciate you hanging out with me. And sorry for that. I guess things, things happen sometimes. But I'm here. I'm fine. Thank you for all your warm wishes and, and thoughtfulness. I appreciate it. You guys are the sweetest. Alright, so... 
these aren't overlaying perfectly. I'm not sure if they're supposed to, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. I feel like it leaves a little bit more character. I kind of like it that way. And I probably should have stuck the leg under here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this back up. Because as I'm looking at that, that's probably supposed to go under there. So that's okay. Um, where's my Timu towel? There's my Timu towel. Let's get some of this cleaned up here. Not working in dirtiness. Okay, so his leg is this piece right here, but this piece needs to go under there first, and they used black for this. So I think what I want to do for that is use a brush marker, because I think that'll be the easiest. One of my microns is a brush. Not that one. Not that one either, I know already. Not that one. I'll find it. I'll find it. None of those. Just grab them all. How'd I get so many? I need to use some of these up. I need to do some more drawing, you guys. Not that one. I think I bought... Um, maybe that one. That one's close, but not quite, but close. I think I had to buy sets. Oh, there's a 10. That's probably, one of those will probably work best. Because some of them were running out, and then they just all got mixed up. So I think that's what happened there. Let's see. Okay, so this piece is black. So we'll just use marker. Do, 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 do. This would be easier to cut from the from the um, from the papers, but I don't have those kind of pinks in my collection. That's where I was lacking. Is in the pink department. How in the world? Do I not have pink in all different shades of it, right? Well, I don't. I don't like this pen. Um, I've got to have some. I know I do have a Sharpie, but I don't like the way that Sharpies have that. It has a weird iridescent look to it after, after time, I think. Let me see. Oh, I know. My new markers from Timu. There should be a black one in there. These are alcohol markers, right? And there should be black right there. That'll be easy. They'll probably be super easy. Okay, where's my picture? So that piece, let's go over that with that, just to make sure it's all looking the same. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I mean, they're right there. Okay, and then this edge of his beak is going to be this color. And, ah, sometimes I find if I can't figure out the whole thing at once, sometimes I'm just biting off more than I can chew at one time. So I just kind of um, compartmentalize and take off smaller chunks. It's the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time, right? One of my high school friends told me that one time, and I have never forgotten it. I've never heard anybody else use that analogy but but them, but I love it. It's so smart. I'm sure somebody, some wise person told them that one time too. And you know what's funny? That person that told me that now works um, in the political field. He's, um, he's a good guy. Where'd that picture go? I say political field, um, but I think it's more... No, he's in the political field. Yeah, we'll just say that. And 
this leg, this other leg needs to be black as well. And it starts right about here, the way they did it anyway. I'm just going to copy them. Because theirs is pretty darn cute, so why not? Figure if I follow their example the first time, I'll know how to do this and make my own variations the next time. This one. Sometimes these layers are just to give it some, um, some depth and strength, so they don't necessarily need to be different colors. Whoops, he kind of flew across the room, didn't he? Cute. And then I think this is also, is this also the foot? Yes, it goes this way. And this is that lifted leg. I think that's it for those. Okay, we're gonna glue those down. And let's see, this goes first, it looks like to me. And I've got somebody calling on my phone for potential spam. They're probably wanting to talk to me about selling my house. I get those all the time, I don't know why. Why? I'm not trying to sell my house. Leave me alone. Sometimes the property they're talking about isn't even mine. Sure, I'd love to sell that property. Do I get the money for that property if it's not mine? Wouldn't that be special? All right. Uh, I did have a, a... I had a spam call one time. Or a, um, they called and... Well, that doesn't look like it's going to fit there at all. That's not what that is, is it? I thought that was the leg. Um, what is this? It's supposed to be the beak. Oopsie! wonder if I can fix that. Okay, or maybe I don't need it after all. I don't know. I'll have to look at that picture again. Let's see, I think... Yeah, that piece was supposed to be yellow. That's going to be hard to fix. I might have to run that one back through. Okay, so he's there. This foot goes on top. So what was I saying? So I had this call, and they said, hey. Now, I was tired of spam calls. I mean, I had them all the time. This is back in the time of landlines. And they were telling me, you know, if this is your, if this is you, and they said my name, if this is you, you know, click this number or hit one or whatever it was. And and so I stayed on the line and they get on there and the guy sounds really excited that I actually accepted the call. And, and he's like, hey, have you heard about this program? No, I haven't. He said, oh, yeah. So with this program, you can you can get this much money and you can, you know, your property and you'll get, I think it was like $135,000 for your property. And it's like, wow, that's really great. You know, tell me more. And he's going on and on and he's just so excited that I took the call. I could tell. I mean, he must have been bored because I'm sure nobody answers and everybody hangs up because, you know, it's spam and and, but he's, you know, he's doing his job. And I'm like, that's really great. I said, so I can sell this house? He goes, yeah. I said, this one that I'm in right now? Yeah, this one. And I'm like, and I can get that much money? He said, yeah. And I said, that's really great because I'm a renter. And he paused and he hung up on me. I was so excited I could get that money because, you know, I was just renting the house. I didn't own it. I figured they should probably do their homework just a little better than that. I had him going. He was he was going on and on, and I had the time to spend. <laughs> Poor guy. 
He was just doing his job. He thought he had a he thought he had a sucker on the line. He didn't. I never got called back from them. I don't know why. I wonder where my hundred and thirty five thousand dollars is. Darn it. Should have waited a little longer, huh? Alright, so this wing will go here. And I feel like, oh, that's maybe that's what I thought it was. That is what it is. That's okay. This part is this. I knew that. It's that beak thing that I wasn't recognizing, huh? Okay, this one goes here. And then this one goes on top of that. that into there. He's turning out so cute. And I will make sure I put his link. This he's a Timu, a Timu dude. So I'll put the link in the description box for you guys if you're interested. And let's see, I'm going to have to figure out this beak and how to fix it. I think what we're going to do, I think I'm going to skip this piece. I think it'll be okay without it. This is going to be yellow. I think, I mean, I might go back and, and change it, but I think we're going to leave it alone. So this is going to be yellow. And let's see if I have a clean brush. I'm sure I must have one I haven't used before, like this yellow one perhaps. It'd be great for that. And let's go ahead and get his beak a little bit. Oops, that's messy. I've never used this pad before, I guess. I don't use yellow much. Get in there. Okay. And... That other piece would have gone right there, but I think we're not going to worry about it today. Because this is super cute already. Oops. we got to figure out what we're going to do about his eyeballs. Um... What would we do about his bubbles? Now, this bottom part's supposed to be white. I feel like that needs to be a little brighter. Can I get in there a little more? Now I'm turning his neck pink orange. That's okay. No, it's not. I don't like that. Okay. But there was also... I had another little piece right here. Where did it go? I misplaced it. And there's that one too. I feel like that was supposed to be something. I don't know. We're going to skip that one. We'll skip that other one because I lost it. He's cute. I don't need all those pieces. Okay. So. I am thinking I could. Give me just a second. eyeballs right here. Maybe. Because it's only like half the eyeball. Like this half right here. Get that picture back. Let me make sure. Hmm. No, that looks... It's like that's it, but then this would be the eyelid. And then there should be a little black dot underneath that. So, I can make this work. I can, I can do this. Go 
very lightly with this one. But I've got to find the other eye. That one goes there. And then this one goes here. Yeah, that's correct. But then, let's look at this die again. Where's the eye for the other side? That's gotta be one of them. There's lots of little pieces, I'm not sure. This might be the other. Um, 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 let's see. Let's see if I can find something that'll work, at least. Some scraps over here. This might work. I don't know if this is it or not, but I'm going to use this. Because I'm not going to try to start off all that over. So we're going to find some similar shapes at least. And see what we can make out of them. <sighs> Come on now. Try not to get ink all over it, but I think I already did. I think I can make it work, yeah. Because I'm going to draw in here too, so I think we can make this work and then alter it how we need to. Okay, I know that looks a little funny at the moment, but hang on. Hear me out. I know what those little lines are. Those little lines are the, um, that I just tossed off my desk, are the eyelashes. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our own He looks angry. Ah, oh, he is cute. I'm just gonna touch up. There's some white spots on here. I'm gonna kind of touch those up a little bit. Okay, huh? Well, this is going to go on a Memdex card. So, and a Memdex card can be any old size. And I'm thinking I could do something like this. I don't want to get around those edges more. Something like this with the Memdex behind it. I've got a, um, a die cut that will cut the slots out, so I'm not worried about that. I can put it on any shape, really. So a tag would be super cute little Memdex card. Does that work a little better? That 
works a little better. It's a Summer Vibes one. So, he is going to be super cute on here. I think we'll put him over here something like this. And then I'm thinking, ooh, I have some other ideas here. They're coming to me. We could use this somehow. Maybe like the sun in the background. Make it pop. Make him super bright yellow. Ooh, that would be cute. Let's see if this will fit through my sidekick. It's too big for my sidekick, but it would take just a second over there on my other. So that's what I'm going to do. Give me just a second while I pop over there and cut out a circle. we don't have all the colors, so you can ooh, but I do have a yellow of the foam. Ooh, I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to put foam behind him because then I'm going to have to pop him up and that's going to be tough. Let's use this, um, let's use this yellow again. This is scattered straw. Probably not the brightest yellow, but it's what I have. And we're just going to kind of something like this just to kind of make it lovely and I like the variation in color so I'm not going to work it too hard but I think this will be fun to just kind of stick behind him then we could do oh you know what I have oh I got this tight set yesterday you guys um, the stacking, um, the nesting, the nesting, oh, where is it? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. Choky, choky, sorry about that. I dropped all my dyes into this bag right here. Here it is. Check this out. I use this. Behind here, I could turn it into a lacy sun. This would be, I would need, I would need the second one right here. Now, do I have a color that's going to be, we can make our own color, but it would be fun to put an actual solid behind there. Solid color. Let's check and see if we have some solids that would go something beautiful. I mean, it doesn't even have to look like a sun. I'm just, it's a summer theme, so I thought that would probably be best. And I have, I have an orange. This would be great, actually. I think this would be perfect. Look at this color. I think that would be super. Let's run this through and see how it turns out. We didn't, I wasn't sure yesterday. Anyway, so we'll run that through. Let's see what we get. was cut pretty well. Yes, that was a great idea. I like this. Now it looks like a really cute, oops, sorry about that, cute sunshine. Look at that. That's awesome. We're going to glue that down. No questions asked. That's exactly what I wanted. to cut out some of these for her when I <clears throat> send them send my project that's so cute I love that okay and then 
I want to, I have the For You that I could use. I thought I left that on my desk because I'm, here it is. Because I thought this would be really cute just like this. But what color do we do this one in? That's the question. That is the question. It would be cute in a teal, wouldn't it? For you in teal. Let's see. Teal, teal, teal. I know it. Teal. Turquoise. No, let's use I think this color would be better. Something like that. And this one will go through my side cake. I don't always have a plan when I start these, but it comes together. Just kind of got to get that feeling. Get that feeling. Trina, I have not opened up my new plates yet. <laughs> oh, so I just started using this other side. I need to, though. I will. Because I always lose them. All right. Trina gave me a new set for my birthday. I love that. She knew I needed them. There we go. Oh, shoot. Trina is actually my partner for this. <laughs> Trina, I'm making your, your Memdex. I forgot about that. You're my partner on this one. This one's yours. Don't watch. Don't watch. I don't mind if she sees it. There's all, I always try to send extra stuff anyway, so there's always surprises. Always surprises. Well, this cut pretty well except for that one little spot. Where's that little scissors at? There we go. I think that's really cute. I feel like it still needs more down here though, don't you? I just lower that a little so all the colors kind of overlap. This part probably needs to be boosted up. Should I cut it out a few more times? I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'll put it a little lower. There's a couple spots on here I kind of want to cover that are a little bit the way I wanted him. This guy, his leg has to be completely on, but his tail and his little feathers on his head are okay. Hold them down a minute. Oh, I got glue squishing out. <clears throat> Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I feel like this needs to be boosted up a little bit. Wish I had one that said happy summer or summer vibes or something, but I don't. I just don't. Or do I? I don't think so. I don't think I do. This is really cute. I think what I want to do though is put it, cut it out of like this paper. Just make it sturdy so it can kind of go, kind of go off and maybe not stick so close onto him. Oh, 
on. is a little bit thicker so I'm gonna run it it probably will cut through if I just run it back and forth but I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure oh and then I know what I can do um, to add more summerness to it I know what we can do for that worked perfectly make it sturdier too. I've got, I know I have some summer paper that we can actually widen this tag with. Okay, so a couple pieces didn't work perfectly. But I'm going to get them. Problem. Just a couple little threads are holding that on. This one is a little bit tougher. I'm going to just dig in there. Hopefully not get my fingers. So this has been a fun week at work too, guys. I've um, my boss is on vacation for ten days, and so it's up to me and my team, of course, to get everything together, make sure we don't forget things, and. So I feel like I'm being put to the test for sure. <laughs> it's been an interesting week, but it's been good. I feel like we're holding it down and we're making some decisions and making things happen and it's been a good week. So I'm proud of I'm proud of us. And yeah, I think he's going to be happy when he gets back. Hopefully he'll have a great vacation and come back a little more you know, feeling better. I know sometimes it, he's just, he's overwhelmed right now, so that's why I say that. I know he's overwhelmed. It's been a, a tough go about for a bit. We're short staffed. It feels like that's kind of the norm anymore. And that means, you know, he's got to pick up. We all have to pick up for the, the shorted the shorted stuff, but um, he does a lot of the heavy lifting, so it, it, a lot of it falls to him, and I think I'll be able to take on a few more of these things when he gets back. I think we're going to have to talk about that and let have him make him let me do more to help, so I think it'll be good. All right. I love this so far. I hope you guys too do too, because that would mean that she will too, and... Let's see here. Put that right about there. Now, what I'm talking about for this paper, I'm going to hold that there for a second. Hopefully that's even. I think it is. It's close. Um, Paper. I think I have a six by six of a summer vibes paper, and I think that would bring it all together. Oh, sorry if I keep moving that. I know I am. I think that. 
that would definitely bring it together or something similar. If I don't have the one I'm thinking of, I know I've got something close. I'm not a big fan of it, so I don't use it that much. But I only need like a piece. Yeah. Let's look through these pads real quick and see if there's oh wait a minute. Here we go. Let's use one of these. This would be good. Look at this. This is Paper Studio. This is the one I got for when they were closing down the sections. I think we can use something out of here. It's going to be bright and summery, right? Even that one. Look. Look how cute that is. I don't know if that's the one, though. Let's kind of let's try some things on here. What am I doing? I'm tearing it from the top and that's not the way it's supposed to go. Is it? Nope. Okay, so stripes, that would be fun. That would be really fun. I love that. Okay, but, but, I'm not sold. No polka dots, no. That could be fun. That goes with the orange, but that orange just blends in then. this side. I think this is the side I'm supposed to cut, not the top. This way. Here we go bright yellow. Maybe. I don't think green is green is not the answer. Blue? That blue just sinks in. That would be cute. But I think I prefer the yellow. Oh no. Pink? I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That's darling, actually. Let's pull that one. Or we could do this pink, but I don't think that's quite right. Actually, that's really cute, too. Mm. I think I like the stripes better. Do that one. That too is cute. So basically pink or yellow. Oh, I could do black. No. Nah. I like the pink better. Help me out, you guys. Not that one. That's a maybe. So I've got pink or yellow. Pink. And stripes. All right. I'm making this harder than it needs to be, I know. That blue is cute. I think it just blends in too much. That's not bad, though. Is that a contender? I'm probably going to pick the one you guys don't want me to pick. <laughs> Just putting it out there. It happens to me all the time when you guys ask me these things. It's like, no, not that one. I do like the green. That green. That's really pretty, too. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, I got three choices. We've got this one, vote now. This one. I think I'm kind of leaning towards that one. This one. Ooh, or you know what I could do. Okay, hang on, don't get crazy. Or yellow. Yellow's out. It's this one or this one. Or what I could do Is something like this. Put a stripe of the pink in the middle and frame it with the blue. Look at this, watch. If I do something like that, it brings in all that color. What 
let's try that. Okay, I'm going to go with... I'm going to cut this here. I want big scissors. This is just an idea. And then I'm going to cut... I'm going to cut a half inch off this one. And then, it's just a thought, just a thought. Trim this one up. And then put this one, this, just about like that. And then trim this one. Or maybe that needs to be lined up a little more with this one like this. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a big Mendex card, isn't it? Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to put that on the edge there. On the sun. I'm going to put this right as centered as I can. The tag is centered as much as I can. The sun can move over. I think that's pretty close. Oh, I like it. Okay, and then this one. The height is okay, but I think I'm going to go over and cut about a half inch off this one. I'm putting a little bit more room down here because I still need to attach the Memdex um, holder thing. What do you guys think about that? Is it cute? It's going to be tall. It's going to be tall, but that's okay. All right, I'm not going to bore you guys with putting on the um, Memdex part on. It's just a die cut that has that piece on it. I do need to back this again because once that's on here, this part isn't strong enough to hold all that up, so it'll just lay over. So I do need to back that with. What was that noise here in my house? Oh, it's Cash. She's come to say hello, I guess. What is it, baby girl? So I will need to put something back there like that to hold that up. Let's see. What? I can just use the back of this, I think. Of this, full, of this uh, pad. Yeah, we'll just do that. What are you crying about? Really? 
Oh my gosh. You want to tell everybody hello? You do? Are you mad because I gave you guys some wet food today and your brother ate it all? Is that what it is? It is. Yeah, I understand. I understand. You're going to need some too? Okay, well, when I'm done, I'll come bring you some, okay? There we go. <clears throat> I know it. She'll tell me. She'll tell me all day long. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, there's a start. It's going to um, be finished up. I'll add the... Once I get that die done, I'll add it to the bottom strip here, or actually maybe even cut it out of the bottom now that it's got that sturdy paper on it. I'm not happy with the feet. We're going to touch that up really quick. Hopefully I can get this pen in there without messing up the paper under it. Just can't get that white. That's it for today, and I'm going to add some uh, special things in there, and I might even add a couple cute little touches to this um, later on. But for now, I hope you love it. That's how you put your little flamingo together, even if you don't use all the pieces, even if you don't have all the colors, even if you can't find the pieces that you accidentally threw on the floor. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me today. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.